Someone, I think, DNF'd. I think it was... Someone standing still in Sector 1. Connor DNF'd, I think. I believe Connor did DNF. Yes, Connor did DNF. On his... Was that his outlap? I uh, hope that was his outlap, yes. Wow, that's gonna set the tone for the day. Got cautious out of sector two, sector three, and this is only round one of qualifying. Are they spinning up the hill, or what the fuck's going on up there? Okay, sec. There's a caution. I think he's out of gas. The I think it's Hirsch. No, he's just. I don't know why it's pulling out a sector caution. I don't know what he did. We got our first times in like all T coming in at a one twenty six. Yeah. You little staticky sparky just to let you know. Yeah. I've been having issues with my stuff all day, so Yeah, well, hopefully this is a little better. These guys lap times, because I think maybe they can get in the 124 range by the end of the qualifying, maybe 123s. Not sure on that one, though. Uh, by the way, Hirsch just set the fastest sector one. Mm -hmm. At least at the moment. There's a caution in sector three? No, two. Going up the hill. They're looking pretty competitive right now. Another caution. McLaren's in the wall. I think it's a McLaren. Yeah, Preacher. Oh my god, that was a big crash for Preacher. Tons of damage. Hirsch is going to come out of turn three. His teammate slow. I don't know what happened to him. I wasn't spectating him at the time. And he's going to come across with a... Pole! Williams just left the pits. And now Hirsch's teammate, T Jerk, is coming around to his lap. Caution again in that final turn. I think there might be a glitch or something. It looks like the cars are keeping pace through there. Preacher is still on the track with tons of damage. <laughs> he hit that wall probably pretty hard. I've done that before. Hitting the curb too much there. Have you spark or no? Well, I guess I'm the only one commenting today, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be very interesting. Very quiet. And as we look... We look here. We got Matt French in the pits. So he's not setting a lap. We have TRX on his outlap. Fardo in the pits, Scottman in the pits, Shoddy, Outlap. Looks like he's probably got some issues. Yep, he was bugging out before he left, so I think he actually disconnected. Alright, we'll try and get him back. Yep. Oh. I think his, either his Y just went kaput because he got offline completely. Well, unfortunately for all the viewers, that means I'm here for the moment. <laughs> yeah. Friendly yeah. neighborhood. Yeah, Low face. Yeah. Um, I thought I was going to be alone for a minute. I was very sad. These guys are yeah. really pushing. Like, they, I'm watching a... Oh, what were you just going to say, David? Oh, I was just saying that there's a few... A few, uh parts of the track that are really um it's like it seems like yeah um so there's there's what is turn i haven't got my track map up so oh. turn th turn 13 is uh the the corner in the top right has some yeah horrible limits um I, there's a lot of cautions in uh turn the final turn as well i wonder if there's a glitch because like these guys are going through their full speed and for some reason it's bringing out yellow flags yeah this uh it might be that they're slowing slowing down a bit to um 
make sure they get the best exit they can to start their flying lap. Yeah. By the way, while you were gone, Connor on his outlap, I believe, DNF'd. Yeah, I missed that exit. Part. Yeah. Um, and Preach hit the wall coming out of, I believe, at the count the turns here. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> coming out of the S, the final S curb, I pre from what his wreck looked like, I think he had too much curb and he spun it into the left side wall. Yep. Pretty yeah. hard. I'm surprised Easy he didn't DNF. Easy done, definitely. Around I've here. done that plenty of times as well. Still no word on Sparky. And Hirsch DNF. He he said it that lap on like his first attempt, so I'm pretty sure yeah. he's gonna keep that. Yeah, he's um probably just coming to the pits to retire. No need no need scrub in another uh, Scrubbing another set of tires. He's he's pretty safely for I'd say. Yeah, I'm yeah, not sure. These guys still have eaten. Not sure what happened to Connor. We know he's fast, but he will be starting at the back today. Yep, sadly. There was some trash talk in the Discord before the race between Connor and another guy. So we see how that goes. Yep. Yep. That's what we like. We like we like a bit of banter, within reason, of course. Yeah. Especially in the post-race interviews. I believe one of the Williams almost, or the Alpines almost, wrecked as well a few minutes ago. Forgot to mention that. Coming out like a lot of people have been wrecking out of turn two, coming out of that kink. Yeah. Yeah, understandable. I think someone just spun. I think it's TRX. Yep. He. I think he DNF'd. I can't no, tell. No, it's still moving. a massive piece of debris somewhere, I think. Actually, no, that's just my screen because I have to clean my TV. Real first world problems there. Matt French comes through, goes into sixth. 126.7. So, whole second off. off for you won if there's only 15. Does it stay um, the same? I think every as long as you don't smash in a wall, I think everyone goes through. So everyone but Connor Todd at the moment goes through. Yeah. Scotsman has not set a lap yet, so I think he knows. Yeah. He'll just be doing a nice calm out lap, I assume. Yeah. You'll, you'll, oh, he's, he's you'll want to push lap. anyway. You want to push anyway, just a little bit, but yeah, you never know when you might need these tyres in the race. Probably unlikely, nice. but now that you speak of it, uh, I'll go look at the tyre set. I can't look at tyre sets because we don't have that information yet. Oh, we do. I think it's in the race director. You Alti can... has already used two sets. That's yeah. Am I heard? I'm in Q3. Skiff, or I'm just call him Whiff, has used one set of mediums. He's the only one. I'm surprised that has used only one set of mediums. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Mediums in Q1 is a it's a it's a little bit of a strange one for me, but it's his tactics as Scotsman invalidates on turn two, so he will be yeah. going around again. The Alpine behind him must be enjoying warming his tires because that was. I thought he was going to wreck for a second, it looked like he lost track, so... It needs to be careful through the next couple of corners, could end up... Yeah. Looks like he's taking it a bit easy. It's in this turn coming up, he has to be a little careful about looking his onboard, even though his lap's already invalid. Yeah. He did it perfectly, what a pro. This is why we're not drivers. He's, yeah, he's done this before. I, I, I have you know, I am a driver. I'm not a I very good sorry. driver. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely decent, not tier one. These guys are like eSport level. <laughs> oh, he just had the back end snap out on him going up the hill. Yeah, that's the tricky, that's the, the real tricky one. Fortunately, it seems a little bit easier to catch a slide. So that inside curve. Like in the other games. Yeah, on the inside curve of turn 12 there. And that's, that's the corner that's up the hill. Yeah, that's... Uh, Remember in F1 2018 and how bad that slide was? Oh god, it's been so Once long, the... I've probably blocked that 
game from out of my mind completely. <laughs> you get like a slide going and the thing just continues to drift no matter what you do. You're going around. 2019, I would say, was a little better, but still had it. 2020 made it kind of worse sometimes, depending on your higher number. Yeah. I'm surprised he's even trying to put in a lap after that, because his tires must be burnt up from just sliding through that hill. Yeah, there's only him and two Alpines on the track at the moment, and still no sign of or sign of our. Uh, Fellow commentator, I might have to put some missing poster signs up. Yep. Or, I mean, I'll try and contact him on the Discord. But... Yep, he sent us a message on the Discord. His entire system has crashed. He's trying to fix the issue, so we might get him back eventually. Which means that I can go back to my little cave and sit, sit my beer and enjoy the race. Must be nice. It is, it is, but then again, gotta get up for work tonight, so, not that nice. Yeah. So you're not commenting tomorrow? No, racing tomorrow. Oh shoot, I'm the only one in the booth then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Next time maybe we should work it out a little better, we'll at least have two people in the booth. Yeah. I mean, I don't mind commentating alone, but it'll be a little boring for the people watching. Yeah. <laughs> It would, uh... It's a little hard with a lot of people driving. You only have one person in the booth. Yeah. It's got something ended up yeah. in a nice, nice lap in there. What, 26.5? Yeah. I don't think he can get honestly any better because his tires are really worn probably by now at least. Yeah. Uh, especially so like, pretty much dead. If you can't get the good lap in, like, the first time without sliding, like, right there, he just slid the tires pretty good on exit. Shoddy. Just D I think he just went in the pits and DNF. <laughs> Interestingly, Bardo has, uh, not set a lap yet, and... But I can't speak I'm for assuming... this game, but I know... Oh, he's around. Yeah, I know... Sorry. In, in the last game, there was a glitch where if he didn't set a time in Q1, you would go through, but it would automatically put you at the back of the grid. You know, that glitch doesn't sound too bad, especially in a league race. Like, I know track yeah. position is key, really, on this track, but, like, first turn on this track is chaotic as hell. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's probably, actually, I'd quite, quite like to be at the back. I wouldn't mind being at the back. I'd obviously bad. rather be at the front, but... There are... But sometimes, like, especially with that kink if you're in the middle of the pack, if the leaders check up for some reason... Yeah. And I believe... Do they have simulation damage on? Um, I believe it is only full damage. Okay. Well, then they can't get punctures from hitting each other. That is correct, isn't it? But if they I'm run not, over I'm debris, not. I believe they do get punctures. Even yeah, in yeah. Of course, your tires above, I think it's 70%, 75%. That's obviously also yeah. punch ter territory. Whiffs is also, for some reason, just doing laps on mediums like it's a practice session. Yeah, I'll we'll get your practice laps in. They probably will be the tire he's going to spend most of the race on, unless. Well, actually, no, having, having said that, he will be going soft, which will force him onto the hards, I think, for the second, for the first stop in the race. Unless he wants to do a three-stop. Well, that's, <laughs> that would be brave. Have to have or a two-stop, I should say. These are 50% yeah. races, so yeah, you two -stop. Right now, yep. the strategy, I believe, is a one-stop. Yeah. Or maybe a two-stop. I think if you're easy, easier on the tyres, you should be able to do a soft to hard for the race. But uh, obviously that that might be helped by any uh, potential safety cars. Yeah.
I'm so confused by these track limits because I've seen him run like a little wider in the final turn and not get invalidated, but I've seen other people do that and they get invalidated. Yeah, not just double whammy if you. It's not too bad at this track. Other tracks like. It doesn't uh, seem like it. Yeah, Canada. Okay. Canada. Fuck Canada. <laughs> it, that it was only, a fun race to commentate. It was, and it only took me 19 minutes to swear. I'm quite impressed. So, that's the end of Q1. Yeah, very interesting Q1. Wink, wink. Yep. Definitely not a... Not a non-starter at all. I love how we have a Haas car in the front row. Yeah. They're not the front row, but top of the charts. That's, uh... Guaranteed to be the only place you see that. It's probably if you if you only watch this the and the real thing, of course. Hopefully, we see Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton not kill each other next race. Yeah, I think summer break at the moment. Of course, coming off the back of the uh, Hungarian yeah. Grand Prix. And if you like NASCAR, that's coming back this week, Matt. In fact, I'm going to a I was saying it's pretty FIFA. much like franchise. From like a Madden game, or like FIFA. Yeah. Imagine if they had that though in these type of games, like a franchise mode. Instead I mean, of like your drive, instead of being a driver, like just a team manager, that'd be cool. Yeah. I mean, they obviously they have the mod team mode, which is yeah. not that, but of course you have to, you have to drive. Yes, you cannot pull a. I can't think of any examples at the moment. Alan Prost, there you go. Matt French with his really swerving influence going on there. On his outlap. My audio is cutting in and out. This is wonderful. There's a huge piece of carbon fiber on the fucking pitch straight. I think Matt French just hit it. I didn't get a good luck though. Yeah. Nice of him to move it out of the way for everyone else. If you can find it, I think the Williams just passed it. I don't know who that is. No, it's just... gone. Whose front wing was that? Like, during the first lap. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's a strange place to lose it as well, actually. Yeah, it's a little straight. Unless someone completely doors you. I don't see how you could get it. Good lap there from Arbon. Puts him on 25.8. Joins the 125 group. Yeah, I'm watching Matt French's lap. At the moment, he has the fastest sector one. But I doubt that'll stick because we're like a minute or three into this. Sector one caution. Oh, I think someone just hit the Haas car. No, the game is just very retarded. Sorry, you didn't hear that. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm trying to. Actually, I'm just having a quick look at the uh, the old. Yeah. Count. Matt French to the 126.5. Um. Go ahead. Sorry, David. No, I was just saying I'm going through the Twitch account trying to find out where you mark your stream is mature. Not oh, I'm mature. I know it is. I don't, I don't remember how to. I think you get a settings and all that crap. I did it like when I first started on Twitch because I knew that my friends... In Na when you're in a NASCAR league, you have to prepare for that shit. Like, you don't expect cursing coming until it happens. Yeah, I'd imagine. By the way, uh, Scotsman is lost on track. I think he spun out going up the hill and hit a rejoin in like the most awkward spot. I'm quite intrigued. Oh, he retired Ar Arbon, EPA. In the pit lane, most likely. Scotsman, I think, got some f form of damage because he didn't even set a lap and he went right back into the pits. Yep. Or he switched entire compounds because he spun up the hill. One of the two. Gotta admit, Canada's qualifying was much more exciting than this, but it, it happens. 
in 3D2, so it's on the lap at the moment. I don't think I might be on the lap. Oh yeah, it kicked Connor out. <laughs> like he's in uh, the P15, so yeah, he was the only one that got kicked out. Yeah. So we got Stoffy, Clute, Scotsman, T Jerk, TRX, Twins, Fardo, Alti, Shoddy, Hirsch, Preacher, Matt French, Whiff, and now retired Arbon. But he will get through because he said a lap. The cutoff right now is P10. That is, yeah. That's the cutoff. Of course, if you do finish top 10, um, those will be the, 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 the time you start the race on. Yeah. Scotsman should get a lap in, hopefully. I don't know why he would want to start back there in the mid pack. Yeah. Preacher just came in and most likely will retire. Oh, someone hit, I think someone hit the wall hard going up the hill. I believe it was Shoddy. Yeah, he's kept in one piece. Actually, looks like he doesn't have any damage. Which That's is. Shoddy hit the wall going up the hill. There's a bunch of rubber flying off his tires though, so he probably locked them up while he was trying to slow the car down. He most likely will come in the pits this time. Uh, yep. Indeed, he does. The power of foresight. TRX with a 125.6. Good lap from him. Dang. I think we're going to get 124s in the next qualifying session when the track gets even more rubber. It seems like the hill is still pretty slick unless they're hitting the curbs. Hirsch has retired. Which is a questionable move in my perspective, because yeah. he's got such a iffy it lap time. Is, it takes a few drivers behind him to go as softs and putting on softs. You're very precarious. Another caution going up the hill, I think that is... Like... I do not see any damage at the moment, actually. Like scratch that, there's no front wing. Yeah, yep, no front wing on that there, Alpha Romeo, getting out of the way for, which... It was very kind of him to put gravel on the track, though, I have to admit. Yep. Okay. He probably won't be able to set a lap time. Oh wait, he gets insta repairs, never mind. I forget, this is an F1 online. Not career mode. What's a lap time here? A minute 25? It's like a minute probably 40 for an outlap. Do you think he'll yeah. get a lap in? I think he will. Yeah, I think you'd start wanting to leave the pits at probably two and a half minutes. You don't really want to be forcing yourself to... TRX just came in. Yeah, so of course the... Uh, the not only... Are you doing a slower lap? You're also making sure that you're out of the way of other drivers, and that can definitely cost you time. And the penalty sometimes. If you're in the way. Yep. <laughs> but, uh. We're looking at Alti, he's on his hot lap, it seems like. We're, we're gonna say, David? I can't hear you. Yep. Up and up, Alti just gave up on his lap. I'm pretty sure this is his cooldown. Sector 3 caution going up the hill. Slow car. I believe he's out of gas. And I think that's Scott. Oh no, he just let somebody by while revving yep. up the motor. Very so, smart. Fleet shot now. Gonna come around the corner, spec his lap. Yes. Gonna do. I only got some hot knife. keys to switch to people. Be so nice, but we don't have those inventions yet. Stuff we going for a little bit of an excursion there across the cross street or whatever the runoff area is here. 
That was a bit sneaky by Scotsman to pick up the, t the toe off the slow car going 50 mile an hour, but I respect his wishes. Yep, might be a little bit of a cheeky teamwork going on there. Yeah, it makes it more interesting at least. Sector 3, caution, car around on the inside. I'm assuming he hit the curb by the way he spun. Yeah. Scotsman's gonna be coming up there soon. So, yeah, at least there's no debris. Man should clear himself out of the way. I think Scott just set fast to Sector 2 at the moment. But yeah. I think the Williams or Alpine behind him has beat. I'm not sure because it went purple then it extremely went away. We'll see here. As he sets a... 26.3. 26. Yep. Now Hirsch is looking pretty vulnerable in eighth. Yep. So we've got... Um, stops at the moment. Just... Three corners in sector two now. Yeah. Lock harder than it looks, especially yeah. that curve. That that breaking zone down into uh, turn ten. Uh, of course, turn nine coming to turn ten is, uh, can be very Indeed. brutal if you miss it. Especially if you have one tires. Indeed. Yeah. Oh, I love no. the Alpine's engine noise being glitched out, so it sounds like a flying saucer. <laughs> this game is perfect and has no bugs, though. Yeah, yeah. I'm we have a whole bunch of dirty air in turn one. I think someone just missed the corner. I don't know why they're group qualifying back there. And there's a slow car, I think he's letting them by. Yeah, that looks like Shots was uh, letting the driver get out. The Haas car of T-Jerk just entered on the track, and I think Stofi too. Yep. Twin is popping in the pits. Let's see how his teammates. His teammate is also in the pits. I'm sorry, I'm very stupid. It's like there's a no. little bit of clip straight up between Pat here going through sector two as Matt Frank goes a little bit wide, landing the car past. Uh, is that what the caution's for? Yeah. The Shoddy is also, I think, waiting for clean air. Because this is his, out his outlap, unless he has damage of some kind that I yeah. can't see. I can't see how much Scotsman time has retired. Left. Yeah, Scotsman thinks he's safe. Probably is at this point. Now, Twins has retired in a very interesting spot. And I believe Shot might retire, or he's going to let this guy by. Which is T Jerk. Now, Twins may have just made a fatal flaw. Looking how he is. Yeah, I that's... think this last time is very beatable. He could be. Fardo probably. So he could be. He could be thinking. Now, what he wants to start on those medium tyres, this would make the one stop a lot easier to do. That might be his thinking. This is Klute's first lap on softs. Does he have enough time to make it to the line? Let's see. So it's close. Two, one. Oh, he got I it! Think he got it! I think he got it! Great he time. did, because he didn't put the flag there. Fardo, Klute, is T-Jerk on his hot lap? I believe he is. Look at his on board. He is, yep, on that fresh, that soft tires. Hirsch and Twins are in a very vulnerable spot here. Horace Toffee goes quickest in sector two. I feel bad for Matt French because he's stuck in the Red Bull's dirty air. across the line, puts in 56, knocks out Twins. 
Matt French has set the fastest 62 at the moment. I think he might get the best lap time here if he's lucky. Nope, barely improved. Sector 3 caution, leave someone just slowed down. Oh! Twins is out in this session, or, uh, qualifying bracket right now. Will Shoddy improve? The shots. He has. Okay, so if Clute improves, it knocks out Hirsch. And he, I think he, no, I don't think he did. What did Clute do? I don't know what it's saying on there. P4 for Clute. So he gets three. So it knocks Hirsch out with oh, Hirsch. He jerk twins and photo. Now this is what it all comes down to. Yeah, a bit of a shock there seeing Hirsch go out. GT. Yeah, he seemed to have some pace as well, but questionable retirement. So, that's, that's your, that's your QT. Every driver apart from Preacher, I'm getting through on the soft tyres. Preacher, of course, on the mediums. Uh, might very well give him advantage for the race. Assuming yes. there's no safety cars or anything that might equalize it. I believe we might have one or two safety cars though. Maybe on the first lap. Uh, I think I think you could be right. Every 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 uh, race I've seen thus far has had almost an abundance of safety cars, so Canada oh. is very interesting with safety cars. That and there was also like a Talladega style wreck on the first lap in turn one somehow with no safety car. I'm sorry chat for neglecting you but you just gotta deal with it. No DNFs in that session, so they're getting their stuff together here. Yep, everyone uh, managing to keep it out of the walls Fairly for the good. most part. So, Except sorry Connor Preach. Todd. <laughs> <laughs> sorry to call you out, my friend, but it, we got it. It's our job. We might see them just stay in the pit, honestly. Nope, they're coming out. We have one coming out. We have a one Red Bull coming out. It's a Ferrari, I believe, of Matt French is coming out as well. Or Arbon, one of the two. Haas car of... I don't think that's a Haas car, actually. Excuse my swear language. Yeah, they're all coming out. I thought a few of them would have stayed in. Maybe wind down the clock, but they are all coming out. Pretty much. Except Matt what? French. TRX. Never mind. TRX is coming out. Scotsman. Clute and Preach. So what's your prediction here? It's, I, th I think TRX has looked mighty good so far um, I'm thinking he's definitely in with a shout um, but th yes. there are quite a few fast people in the lobby I believe Preacher might get top three at least because he has an extra pair of softs that probably no one has yep that's that's a good good uh What's the word? <laughs> it um, happens, man. Yeah. I did a did a presentation at work earlier, and I think that must have happened half a dozen times. So, yeah, six, seven times. Just forgot how yeah, to it English. Is. It happens to the yeah, rest of us. Best of us. Always have a backup language just in case. Mine's gibberish. Yeah. 
thing is, a lot of people speak it, so yeah, it's not a bad shout at all. It looks like everyone but preachers out. Yes. Actually, preachers on his outlap. Oh yeah, just yeah, just started it now. Yeah. So TRX. Wait, I think there might be a lack of grip on track by these guys. I can't tell if the tires are just cold or if they're actually struggling for rear grip here because I saw a bunch of people snap. I don't know why they're pushing so hard on their outlap, though. Yeah, it's definitely a strange one. A TRX using those eSports line. Getting... These guys can use custom sets, right? Yep. We all use our... Uh, they can customize the gear ratios or no? Uh, no. I don't think we've been able to customize them in F1 for probably five or six years now, actually. I about to say, because I'm looking at TRX when he's an ace gear, he barely uses it. Why don't they have custom gear ratios? I think it's so they have to... So in real life, they have to use the same gearing all year round, and it's... Oh, it was... oh it's a big wreck! By... Oh my god. I don't know how a... he's not been that completely. Yeah, that... Oh. Completely binned it that lap. Dang, I was I had the perfect camera angle too. <laughs> yeah, just see losing that rear that that that. Corner Was that him hitting the curb or just no rear grip? It could be overheating it rears. Could. It could also be yeah, just 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 one tire on that curb is all it is ever really taken in the last two or three games to get your car going sideways there. It's the first that was a through. nasty hit. Yeah. He's probably going like 170 mile an hour on the way he's in KPH. Scotsman puts in a only a 128. So at the moment, at the top we have Arbon. He sets a yes. sub 25-5. It's a very good lap. That might be TRX's session, unless he can get at least one good, one or two good more laps, which he probably could. But after hitting a wall like that, he's going to be super cautious now. He's not going to have any more aggression through there. Yeah, there's always going to be that little bit of Oh, hesitation. Red Bull around somewhere. He slammed the He didn't slam it, he tapped the wall going around in the S's. These guys are super lucky today. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, Scotsman manages to keep his car going. Bit of right side damage, it looks like, on the floor. Can't see the left side because our cameras are not that well placed. Yes, he has a little bit of left floor damage, what it looks like. He is in the dirty air of a Ferrari or a Red Bull, I can't see who's in front of him. Yes, it is a it is a Ferrari, but for some reason I saw blue. Yep. I must be going clinically insane. Or colorblind, either way. One of the two. Also, Preacher and Arbon. Arbon improving on his time there. It's only a one twenty-five point three eight. Just five thousandths yeah. of a second behind him is Preacher. Preacher has it invalid. Right now, so he's probably gonna come in this time since his lap's invalid. And you could probably get a new set of tires and come out with a little time to spare. Yeah, TRX is come out to have another go. Let's see if he can do it without binning it. Scotsman is actually quite slow today, even though he did spin out, but I thought he had a little more pace in his Q3. But I'll give him the benefit of the doubt since he spun out. Yeah, very true. So he was hoping, he was hoping, uh, oh. praying more than anything, what we got. Skiff, uh, hit the curb going to the hairpin and he almost spun around. He went into the runoff, he saved it though, it was a nice save. Fleet Jack goes across the line, does a 125.8. Remember the 25 yeah. club. Everybody's in the 25 club besides the back four. Well, one hasn't set a lap yet because he binned it. Yeah. But besides that, Scotsman, I assume, is going to come back out, hopefully. 
Unless he's accepting a 10th place, basically, because I think TRX can get a good lap. Yeah. Besides that. Oh, is this his outlap? Oh, it is invalid. I was confused why he was swerving like that. On the straightaway. Here he goes on his hot lap, and we're on his onboard. He's definitely using the wheel because I can see the force feedback messing with his wheel. <laughs> it, it could it could be a little bit of a lag, to be fair. It could be. This game is perfect and has no bugs though. Yeah. It's true. Yeah, I don't know what Our I was just, uh, On his outlap. Oh, he just spoofed that part of the S's horribly. Or if that's lag, I can't tell anymore. The game's lagging while he's also making mistakes. I can't tell. TRX missed the, missed the apex there. But, uh... Um, but I... He has time for multiple laps, at least. So. Yeah. I think... I believe with this compound, you have time to set, like, three or two competitive laps, if you have enough fuel, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think. Uh, you probably don't want to be doing more than two. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't know if the ERS will last. I don't think it's too aggressive here. There are some tracks where your yeah, ERS... You just said literally. Purple Sector 2. ERS. Yeah. Comes into the last so corner. He kind of goofed up a little bit, but besides that, he is going to set probably top 5 lap and 3rd. 25.7. Considering he, I, I saw him on just one corner, probably lost a good 3 temps. Yeah. Yep, he's more time than him, definitely. Now let's see if he can set a better lap by not goofing the S's here. I'm surprised that didn't activate track limits what he just did. But, hey, we don't know. Sector 1 caution, I believe someone's holding each other up or letting people by. Well, they have enough time to cross the line. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, so two minutes left in Q3. If you are not out at this point, you are not setting a lap. So, it looks like Preacher is happy with where he is oh. at the moment. Oh, someone just... Oh, I thought they wrecked. Uh, Scott, er, TRX has just said Purple Sector 2. I thought, I believe that's a Williams. Binned it into the Ferrari. Alfa Romeo. They use like the same shit of red, the same shit of red almost. Yeah. It's hard to tell sometimes. TRX might get second here. Nope. Didn't improve. He improved by a bit, but not enough. Yeah. I don't think it's enough gas or ERX to, yeah, he's quit the lap. Now let's see here. Stofi has retired. He, I think he retired. I think he hit the wall there. Yeah. So on that exit. Our bond goes faster. 125.1. If you look on Alti's can, you can see him with no two front tires. Or TRX's can. I think that might yes, be you. Gone, <laughs> yeah. Fortunately, has all four tires on my screen. <laughs> the Stofi? So, ah, Stofi. Ah, uh, yes, that's what you mean. Yeah. He, he hit that curb exiting the S's and probably slammed it into that wall. Pushing too hard. Yeah. Now, Scotsman has not improved. Or he did, but not by a lot. By two seconds, but still in the top ten. Or, tenth. It's really surprised. Usually he's very quick. I think he might just be using left over tires at this point, though. Yeah, it could very well be true. He is on someone a fast just. One. Oh, uh, someone shot. He did the same thing as Stofi. Yeah. We have two cautions in the same spot. <laughs> someone is out of gas. Uh, TRX is out of gas. That's why there's a caution in that sector. Matt French is coming around. Oh, he oh, he almost just lost it. Yep, caught that one. He hit the curb, saved it. 
Then he almost lost it again by overcorrecting, but got it. Good save. Oh, oh save. the sets are 124.9. That's just rubbing it in. I Scotsman thought... across the line. Can only go nine. nine. Matt French. I believe that Matt French did yeah. not improve by much. He didn't, and we have cool clue on the track still. Coming out of the final turn. I don't think he's going to improve by much because I didn't see his entire lap time. 123, 124, 5. Tenth and a half. He switched spots. Oh. I thought he had a 124 for a minute. I was going to be like, what the hell? <laughs> Dang. Well, that kind of proved us wrong. Hop on. Scotsman with a slightly terrible session, but besides the fact, Ardbon got the pole, Preacher, DRX. Clute, Alti, Whiff, Shoddy, Matt French, Scotsman, Stofi. There's definitely going to be a wreck on the first lap, I can already tell. <laughs> I mean, if it happens, it's your, your fault. You realize that, right? <laughs> For saying it. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, the way these guys are driving through that, the S's is like, I, they're not even going too wide through there. They're only going one wide through there, and they're already bending it. Like, do you get what I'm saying? And these guys don't have a clean record in packs. I think you can agree on this one. What well, I can say for certain is it will be tight. Will there be contact? Yes, very. Um, yeah, there's going to be contact. Will there be... Fair racing. Well, let's hope so. Depends I'm on sure who's. <laughs> Who was uh, complaining about Connor? They might not be fair. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. What, he... what did he even do? I, I'm not even sure. What? Was... Sorry. I'm just wondering why the two in the this other guy were bickering about. I wasn't too sure, but. We'll see how this goes, as we are in a waiting for players screen. The most wonderful yep. screen there is. Yep. I think my screen someone's ready a up. stroke. So we're just waiting for the drivers to have a comfort break in, in, just before the formation lap. But someone's ready up early. Yes, this very, very daring person. Uh, well, I, th I, th I think we found out who readied up in the Discord. <laughs> who was it? Preacher. Preacher, man. From second place. Oh, they're going off the... Is this the formation lap, right? It is the formation lap. Yeah, okay. so just... It's all in the name of... Uh, getting in those tyres. So there's been Someone one person caught out. I believe out. it was Connie. Uh, I think it's... Yep, yeah, Connie's... He, uh, he, he, he got disqualified. Yeah, I think it might have been a case of um, if he wasn't ready, he might have left. I might have gone into the back of him and gotten. Is oh, it disqualified from the race or just from the No, lap? just just the formation that. Back from the back. What? Who the? F right. Yeah. What happened? So we've got. Wait, how long did you go without cursing? <laughs> Not long enough. You just sweared. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm we've got we've got a end. guy in the lobby. He's not meant to be in the lobby. Um, how the hell did he get in? I don't know. He needs to leave did though. Even on public. It should have been invite only. I'm gonna try and text him. Dude, you just tell me four nine nine nine. Leave the session, please. View gamer card. Yeah, yeah you send him a message telling him to leave. I can't click Thank on you. it. You go to the race director, right? So I can't view his. I can't enter his thing. Should be in your race supplies. Where?
I tried, can't, it's glitched or something. I, I hit it, but it doesn't do anything, like the button to do it. Well, uh, what do we do about this? If you are listening, dude, for 999, leave! Get out! Go away! Okay. No one likes you. Oh, I said Dang, my bit. I... I just got kicked. Yeah, it looks like you just got again. kicked. Okay, Can I'll... you tell me if there's a big wreck in turn one? <laughs> yeah, I suspect there will be. Oh, Squiffs has jumped the start. There's carnage, there's carnage already. Someone's lost the front wing. It all looks relatively clean. You wanna know why? Because the session's joinable. t jerks out, t jerk is out. Kluchak looks like he's... ...picked up a penalty for collision. The Dutch Mafia turning on themselves. Dang. The Dutch Again, Mafia. I knew they were doing no good. 4999, leave the session. I don't think he's watching, but we can try. That's yeah, gonna be. With me, I... Ladies and gentlemen, I will send him a message. I'm loading back in, so don't worry. Spark has never showed up. I believe his system has been shot or burned. Yep, first place has a penalty of some kind. Arbon second, Shoddy third. Oh, there's a caution. Sector three, there's a big wreck coming up the hill. I don't think anybody DNF'd going up the hill. It seems some people have wing damage, though. But it's hard to tell because our cams are placed in horrible spots. Uh, Sophie with no front wing. Sophie has no front wing from up the hill. I believe Twin has some wing damage. Dude has perfect clean car. Please leave if you're listening. Skiffs on the pits. Dude's there. Uh, some of these guys have pretty good wing damage. Like I see chips missing. And that really affects your car. Especially with this damage model now. Where it's extra sensitive. Connor's yep. in 8th from start from the back. Pretty good start from Connor to gain a lot of positions from the back. Bravo to him. Right now, Connor's also the fastest car in the track, I believe. Is he just like the fastest first and second sector? Right now, the only person with a penalty is Clute, and that's a 5 second for contact. I believe. Yeah, pick that up for a severe collision, which I can only assume is the one that took Teacher out of the race. This is interesting how we have a random menu. He's actually racing pretty good too. Why did they put the lobby on joinable though, is my question. Yes, I'm not sure. Scotsman is in the lobby. Uh, he was the lobby EPA host. with the fastest lap. Connor goes Connor. quicker. Yeah. And DRS right now is the fastest. Means less drag. This is a, oh, someone DNF'd, I think it was, or t someone spawned, I think it's TRX, yep, Aston Martin. Cannot see if he has damage, because I'm stuck looking at his soul. In this camera. This stuff is having a pretty horrid time at the moment. Yeah. I might give him some, uh, free cookies after the race. That's how horrible he's doing right now. 55 seconds back, he's risked... If he pits again, he's risked to get lapped. Yep. Yeah, he has those... ...mediums up. They want to take him to the end. Dude and, uh, Skiff are having a bit of a battle. And there's a caution going up the hill. One of the McLarens have DNF'd. Where is Preach? Oh, he's right there in the... 
How did that happen? Safety car so is out. How bad was the wreck? I couldn't get a good view on him. Someone has hit him. I think it was dude. D yeah, dude. dudes hit him. Yeah. What a shame. Um, he was doing yeah, quite good as well. Preacher. Props to you, Preacher, for taking out the intruder. Oh, Scott's Scott's him with a five cell oh, speeding penalty. Severe collision with Scott. I think he got hit into the pits. That Scott is... Oh, Stofi's almost around under safety car. Sorry, David. This is not going particularly well at the moment. We've got two DNFs. Two jerk and preacher. Three DNFs. I'm not going to count the other guy. Okay. Scotsman with not 10 here. seconds worth of penalties. He's going to have to pit again. Oh, wait, he doesn't actually... Does, what tire is he on right now that he just got? He's just put the mediums on, so... He might put the hards on because he has to come down and get at least one of those five seconds going. He has to pit twice for to get both of them back, but I doubt he's going to pit three. Yeah. He doesn't have the tire compound to do it. Well, what he probably will do is he will go on the hards and at the end switch to softs or mediums and get rid of that other five second. Yeah, that's, that's the only thing I can see. Shout. It's gonna lose. He's gonna need to gain a lot of time though, while he's on the track. Good for him as a safety car though. Yeah, and they're gonna have to go around probably two more times. Uh, it's helpful for stopping. <laughs> Definitely. Trying yeah. to catch back up to the rest How of the pack. How did Preacher DNF? He looked like he was in the middle of the track. Did he hit the wall and bounce off, you think? Yeah. I'm going to so, look at the track and look for scrape marks. So, it might be a little bit early. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it now. I'm sure chat with a green with a and the Discord is driver of the day preacher but taking out the intruder. <laughs> yes. I think with all jokes aside, I think Connor might get it because he started from the rear, he's already in fifth. With a five yeah. second penalty. Just needs to keep it clean. Remember guys, we're not in Canada. Keep that in mind. Yeah. No need to go putting each other off. Shotty's in the lead. Did Arden Arbon pick for Hart? Yeah, it oh, looks yeah, like he, he did. did. He is in on the out on the hards as it wins. Shotty for some reason is still on the softs. Yeah, that's an interesting choice unless he's gambling on another safety car soon. Well, they're all together now. I think the safety car might be coming in this lap because they're all caught up except twins. But he's going to catch him before they hit sector three. This will be very interesting and very chaotic, but it's Formula One on online, so let's see how this works. This is going to be a scary restart into turn one. Yeah. Hopefully they have some etiquette. Scotsman better hope they're... Uh, Actually, he didn't pit, so yeah, he's going to stay out. I'm questioning his strategy now, though. Will those mediums get to the end? So many people have gone on them. I kind of agree with Arbon and Twins. I mean, I have to trust their judgment. I think they're... Uh, I think to get us the medium to the end is a big ask. Well, I think they're gonna pit for sauce later yeah, on. Yeah, that's what's the end. It's feasible. Scotsman and Connor have to go in the mediums here because they probably have to pit again in case one. Like, Connor only has a five second, so he can get that cleared right away. So he's doing the two stop. I believe Twins and Arbon are gonna try and make it go all the way. But it's gonna be hard because they're gonna have to do like 22 laps on the hards. And they're yeah, going green. Thanks. Yeah. And they're already too wide in the back of the pack. Shoddy with a huge lead. Yep. They're too wide. He's lost into the grass almost. Who was that? 
I couldn't tell if it was Connor or Scotsman and try to block somebody into the grass. Caution in the back. I believe someone's around. Whiff is around. Does he have any damage? He looks like he's in one piece. Might be side. Yep, he's got a little bit of floor damage on the left side. It looks like there's a piece of carbon fiber in the outer groove. Caution in the S's. Not f sure for who though. I think it's one of the Alpines. Yes, it is. And he reemerged in a dangerous twins. spot. He might. Yeah, that should be a penalty. On twins, maybe there. That, just that was a really the bad spot from the reemerge. Yeah, Rx getting past Fardo there up into fifth place. They wrecked Scott's up the hill last time. Lost out. But the two French right up the hill. Going backwards. Oh my god. A two oh, wide pass on his teammate. Arba. Around the outside. That is a very brave. On his teammate as well. That was. Does his teammate have damage or something? Oh, yeah, Arba's gone up the inside. Point. Stop me there. Matt French is coming down the pits with wind damage. Now let's look at the front of the pack. Shoddy has to pit around lap 8, I believe. There's three people in the pits. Matt French, Clute, who's going on the mediums, it looks like. Oh, Armand's lost it. He's lost it? No, oh, he was doing so good. He's knocked his front wing. Reset to track, which we do not like. And he's gonna pay the price for having that wing damage, though. He's gonna be limping around. I'm surprised he's not just gonna let. Yeah. He just Stop. forced someone almost off the track there. <laughs> Dang. Arbon was doing so good, too. Well, Arbon, Matt French. Clute and Scotsman's days are pretty much done unless there's a safety car. Right now, Shoddy has to pit, and he should get out before Whiff, maybe. Because that's a 14 second gap. There's a caution up the hill. The, like... One of the cars has spun in the worst spot. He almost got TRX. nailed. TRX got out of the way. If he stayed there for another two seconds, he was going to get doored. Not doored, but like hit in the side pod. That would have been a nasty crash. And I believe no one else has come down the pit lane. So, as we are. Shoddy right? came down for his stop. So, shot pits from the. Speeding in the pit lane with a speed limiter. That's going wrong for Arbon. Has horribly gone wrong for him. I don't get how these guys keep speeding in the pit lane, though. They have, a, they have a thing to stop it. Now, what can Connor Todd do? He's behind her. She's on the mediums. Hirsch, course, on the... Hirsch on seven lap old mediums. mediums. Connor is on three lap old mediums with a five second penalty. If I were Connor, I'd save his tires. But that's just my opinion. He's got a 5 second penalty, so even if he does pass her, she's not going to be able to clear him by 5 seconds. They're relatively same on pace, at least it looks like. That and Connor stuck in his dirty air. What's your analysis on this, David? You want to go to sleep? It is quarter past 9. It's nearing bedtime. If you want, if you can at least make it to like lap 15, you can get off. <laughs> I can just come and take a No. Gotta stick. Gotta stick. I'm the, I'm the streaming guy. The FPRL streaming guy. And, uh... and you can just put your Xbox on timer and keep it going. Yeah. <laughs> I try and remember to. Someone has wrecked up the bike. hill. Well, I had a little bit of a wiggle there coming out of turn 3. Scotsman spun up the hill. Scotsman, what are you doing, laddie? Oh, down in last place. 
I think we gave him too much luck in the beginning by wishing him good luck. Yeah. But to be fair, he, he is a car behind the pole sitter at the moment, so we'll give him that. Albeit in 12th and 13th place. These guys are not given, or they're just not given, they're just taken. No chill. I thought these guys would have been less aggressive after qualifying. But nope, they're full throttle. The S's or the hill seems pretty dangerous still. I see people snapping going up the hill here and there. Hirsch right now has got a head by Connor by half a second. But Connor seems to have more straight line speed by his wings. Or he's got DRS, never mind. Yeah, he's in the DRS. He'll be in the clutch stream. It's not looking like he's trying to hard or go to a cool day from Hirsch. I think he might have got away with it. Looks like he has. He will stay ahead. At least. Well. The rest of the sector. Like I predicted, it's very single file because it's bothering. But besides that, so far, it's not Canada. Yeah, very tricky. A lot less balls here to crash into, seemingly. Oh, Bar -bomb the fastest, was the fastest lap. lap, but it doesn't really mean much when you're in 10 or 12. Yeah, gotta get up those at least two positions to get that extra point. Can kind of stay with Hirsch. Looks like he drops a bit of time in the corners. He makes it all up with the DRS and the straights and the slipstream. Gaining almost two tenths there just on that straight line without the DRS. I think he's trying to get some tenths back lower. now. Sector 2 caution, I believe someone has wrecked. It's Scotsman. Scotsman. He might want to check his contract after this one. Yeah. No damage, at least. Someone that question more though. Yeah. You know, Scotsman's uh, Yeah. Of course, no Lewis Hamilton taking him out, though. He's taking himself out. Yeah. He's gonna get lapped soon. They're only, like, a straightaway away, basically. They're not anymore. Up on again, setting up the purple lap on 28.7. To be honest, there's nothing really else he can do. He's catching clue, it looks like, though, pretty quickly. Yep, currently three seconds behind Bootjack. He's on the fresh mediums. Right Bootjack now. Fresh right. cars. The only people we can really watch right now are the lead cars and maybe up as a caution. A Ferrari around. So that's Matt French. Matt French. And there's someone else around. Looks like Matt GRX French is retired. Is I don't know why he has retired. His car's still going. I think he may have just left the session of frustration. Do you want to interview him or no? I think he's too pissed off. Yeah, he's probably too heated. We tend not to interview during the race because things do get a little bit heated. There's a lot of people going into the pits, it seems like. Top five. Yeah, the safety car is out. The safety car is out. Yep. Safety car is parked on the second straightaway. I think I found why Scotsman is wrecking. If you look Sorry? at Scotsman going through the corner, or the, if you look at Scotsman going through the corners, he's really bottoming out real bad. I think he may have goofed the setup. I think that's why he's so slow. Yeah, well, you say he didn't have a lot of practice. Of course, practice is, uh, is important for the fine tuning you set up. Like, if you see him when he touches a curb, it completely just screws up his whole car. Like, you'll, you'll see the bottom out. Yeah. 
right there. Lucky he's got overs there on the exit. Well, could be those hard tires. Quite concerning day. If I were him, I would have stayed out because I don't think he's gonna catch a safety car. Was he serving penalty as well? I forgot about that. My bad. Yeah. Connor served his penalty, right. I believe. Wait, Hirsch got a penalty. From what, though? You should be able to see in the race director. I'll go look. Yeah. The most recent are on the be top, back right? In a minute. Sorry. Are the most recents on the top or the bottom? The, 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 I don't, I don't know. Severe, co co severe collision. It's. Yeah, severe collision. That's what we got for. Well, good yeah, luck with your beer break. Between. Okay, I will leave the stream with her up the front for the moment, and we'll be back in a second. As we can see here, we're waiting on the safe car to go green. We still have Flute, Arbon, and Scott's been trying to catch up. I don't think Scott's going to catch the car, or the safety car pack anytime soon. I believe... Oh, we have someone going down pit lane. His teammate, Squiffs. Squiffs, whatever. Squiff. We'll call him Whiff for now. We'll look at their penalties. So, 5 second, 3 second, 10 second. Stofi can't get that penalty renewed, but Scotsman can get two of those renewed if he pits twice. And Hirsch can. Still no confirmation on the safety car. He might go around one more time for Scotsman. Not sure on this one. And we're back. Well, I'm back. Yes. Welcome back. Did you grab another beverage? Uh, I did indeed. Mm. We're just the waiting cold. on Scotsman. Yeah. Hurry up, Scotsman! If the safety car doesn't even come in, I think he's gonna pit because he's got so many penalties. Yeah, Hirsch collided with twins somehow. I'm assuming under safety car. I think so, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's how the game sees that any collision under safety car to the severe collision. That's Scotsman's. Safety car in the slap. So, here we go. Let's see if First Scotsman can keep his spinning streak going. Come on, one in their tires in unison. Yeah, and here we go. I think he's. I think he's gonna go Hirsch here. Yep. He's and it's not there. great start from Hirsch. They're three wide Twitter back there. Right up behind. He's going three wide. Four wide oh, almost. This is, this is gonna be. Oh, they're is, four wide. This, this is, is not gonna be. end well, lads. They oh, kept it clean. Black between the Alphas. They kept it mostly clean somehow. Somehow everyone's still pointing the right way. Alti blocked uh, someone's always like freaking gravel, man. That was risky, but it worked. Connor catches up to third place just about. Fardo. He's just been oh, overtaken by Fardo. Yeah. Hirsch might run away with the lead while they battle back. He's there. already broken that one seconds. Scotsman's in 11th. 11th, so he gets past Kuchak. Now, will they wreck going up the hill? Side by side. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, 
try to get past Quinns on the spot target is Bardo. Defending that into the last corner, holds it inside the line, should have this. And he keeps it the position. He uses full complement of deploy that lap. And now the two cars behind coming back in as Two wide. Oh, wait a minute. They're three wide. He's in the grass. Almost. Making a brilliant move there. Overtakes two of them. Spider Man twins. Yeah, it was a really risky move. I thought he was going to get pumped off. Still and too as... wide into turn four. Very close there between. They're too wide going to the S's. They hit just a little bit. Oh, and Connor pulling it out. Connor does have the inside of this one. And he's Quinn's got it. Looking Although for Fardo opportunity. On the exit. This is going to be a tricky one if he tries to go too wide through here because if he can force somebody off here, it ruins their hole straight away. Oh, Twins has dropped it. Oh boy. Very lucky, manages to not go all the way around and keeps it straight. Doesn't lose too much time. The Red Bulls are just so having a horrible day. Yeah. Arbon, what happened to him? Him and Stofi are all the way back there, like next to each other. Yeah, not been a good day so far for Arbon. Even though I think he's Bottom the fastest car. Three seconds. DRS is enabled. Oh, they top. just. They, oh, he just spun him! Stofi closed the door so hard it spun Arbon. That's gonna be looked at. Sophie pretty much TRX didn't know he was there, it looked like. Five seconds. That's, pre that's pretty close. I couldn't get a good angle on it, but it did look like Sophie just ran him out of room. It also kind of looked like Arbon do dive bomb or dive bombed him on the beginning of the hill. A little bit of contact there between Schultz and Dean. TRX might keep it get passed by both Italian cars. Yeah, so Derek coming out of the pits, he should be passed by Arbon as well. It's going to be tight. On the exit, racing. Arbon goes around the outside and pace TRX. They make a little bit of contact. Has turned it around. What happened to Arbon? Is he letting him by? I think he is. Not sure. I think Arbon is yet let, letting him back past. I think he knows he might have been in the wrong there. It's a good little bit of sportsmanship there from Arbon. For the first time will... this whole season. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's what so it seems like to be point. fair. To be honest, it might have been, in my opinion, TRX's fault because he just exited the pits. Like, he shouldn't have been aggressive like that. Just in my opinion. Robert. Yeah. Skiff and Twins are really battling it out now in the mid-pack. Not anymore, but they were. Between them. If we look up at 5th right. uh, and 4th place, they're going too wide. Oh, it's not going to work, and they make contact. Going through the S's now. Shotty lets them by. Shots will be wanting to make that tire advantage count. Yeah. Wait, why is Clued on the soft tire? And Fardo? Did they go through all their sets of tires already? It's a strange one. To me. Not quite sure why they'd be putting on the soft at this point in the race. From the outside, shots goes. They're still too wide. Don't do it here, lads. Yep. Shot pulls out and goes across that curve and manages to stop himself from going around. He will try again on the start finish straight. Connor is catching the leader with ferocious haste. No, it's an eight tenths separate them. He was a second and a half back. That DRS in his, his wings must be very low. I, I think when, when he first got past Fardo, I think the gap was 2.2, so God definitely has the pace. 
I think he just has really low wings because, like, he's so fast in the straightaways. It seems like Hirsch gains all the time back in the corners. Oh, someone just DNF'd, I think. It was TRX. I think TRX. He spun off. That's DNF. Looks like he spun off. Safety car again. God damn. It's gonna be like, like 20 this, because it's gonna be like seven to go probably when we go green again. That should have been a virtual. I don't know why that's a full safety car. Yeah, he's out of the way. Why that's the full course? The game is very a trigger happy with safety cars, so that effectively neutralizes the gap between Hutch and Connor. Connor of course, Hirsch can probably. Oh, my bad, go ahead. Yeah. If I Hirsch, I pit for mediums, then to get rid of that five second penalty. It's not you? a bad shout. Let's we'll see what he does. He might just take the five seconds to the end, though, because he doesn't need to pit again. Yeah, but the thing is, the gap's so close, and it's going to be like, what, seven to go, probably, when they start. He could probably go on the softs. Maybe a stretch though. I think he, I think he might. I think he might lose more time trying to battle back through the field though. As yeah. Connor and Fado have pits. Ooh. So, does Connor think he can take the softs? He's put the softs on. He's going to the end on the softs. That's a brave move. I'm pretty sure whatever it was, if the leader didn't, if the leader pit, Connor would have stayed out. But if Hirsch didn't pit, he would have won it. It's one of those scenarios yeah. in my opinion. And as is the Delta, Connor has had a free pit stop, so he is in second. Yeah. He comes out in second, so doesn't get jumped by Fardo there. And now the roles have reversed. Now Connor's got the extra tire advantage. And Hirsch must be. Sitting there thinking, oh, why didn't I pit? I suppose it's probably because he would have had to have surfed that five seconds. It would have brought him out behind the two guys behind him, I think. Uh, it's just giving the safety car a bit of a hurry up there. <laughs> I don't think you'll make him go any faster, mate. Oh, twins, getting a corner cut under the safety car. That is like a. That's the. Yeah, it's shameful that. <laughs> I mean, that with all, all the love in the world, that is shameful. Still there, my man. We might have lost Fry Guy. He's gone very quiet. So there we have it. Hirsch pits from the lead. I'm sorry about that. I had to rehydrate myself. No worries, no worries. So Hush, Hush has pit from the lead, and that is going to release Connor from the restart. Well, I'm just going on to the softs. Dang, okay, well that was... That might hurt him, because he should have went down the first time. Yeah. Five second grid Definitely. penalty for, uh... Twins. For a severe twins. collision. He has had a good safety car. Thus picking up that three seconds of corner cutting, and, uh... Wait, how do you get safety car? Yep. We've been through this. <laughs> well, I went, uh, yeah, I, I mentioned it. It's, it's like a badge of shame. I Man. corner cut under the safety car. Scotsman might have a chance to get a good finish now. He is on the fresh softs. He only has a 10 second penalty. He didn't even get his penalty cleared. Oh wait, Alti has a drive-through. Oh shit. <laughs> oh well. Oh, 
Yep. Oh, that's someone's around under the safety car. Stofi in the back got turned, I think. He just got turned Did into the safety car, I think. Did we see a penalty for a collision there? No, he literally just, I think, either he sp Might have spun, spun out himself. I'm not sure, but how? He was on straightaway. I didn't know he was Roman Grosjean. And it, it is Bahrain as well. <laughs> it's potentially a very bad tasted joke. <laughs> I like it. Good job. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I didn't mean a fiery <laughs> crash. I meant by he wrecked the safety car. I should have said George oh, Russell, dude. shouldn't I, though? Yeah. Well, chat, I hope you know what I meant. I did not mean to shame the man, the myth, the legend, Roman Grosjean. Dude, he's doing very well. He's, he's in a... Good indie car. He's in America at the moment, isn't he? Yeah, he's doing, yeah. doing, doing he's well. He's doing himself. very well, especially since he's a little older. Typically, like with older indie car drivers, that go, or like older F1 drivers go to indie car, they typically don't do too well. But he's doing very well. Of course, I believe also Alonso went into indie car. It course. might have just been the Indy 500. But it was only the Indy 500. Well, yeah. Indy cars and oval are a lot different than road courses. They're completely different chassis. Like, they handle yeah. way differently. Oh, someone's around. I think it's shoddy. And there goes his most... Oh, someone else is around. Fardo's around. He's in a bad spot. He's lost all the time in this game. Hirsch is already in 7th place as the game is getting held up by the two in front of him. Oh my god, they're too wide in front of him. Arbon is in 5th right now. He has got his time back. Now, Alki's going to have to come through for his drive through Scott's going to get a 10 second and 3rd. Hold up, I got to... Okay, so right now, Scotsman will finish ninth. Sector 3 caution, someone's around. I think it's Clute. Clute is very questionable because they're emerging the track. I think Connor's got this on the back. No front wing. That too. Yeah, I think I think Connor with those fresh, fresh softs is going to run away with this one. Because nice. Percy is too deep in the field. Really Team comes into the pits to service drive free. Yeah. Now this is going to be all contact the road. between Arbon and Stofinger breaking. I can't tell if that was lag or contact. It was one of the two. Caution on the straightaway. Flute has DNF in the pits. He has chosen to give up. Yeah, which means that everyone finishing will have at least a point from this point. Scotsman, where he is right now, will finish. I believe in 8th or ninth, one of the two. It's hard to tell from that. I think 8th. Of caution, yeah. Twins is around on his, on his outlap. Twins is around. Yep. He keeps getting even worse for the Alpines tonight. Oh, Stoffy has got past Hirsch. Can these guys race again tomorrow? Making a mistake. Connor with a very good lap. Scotsman. There's a DRS yeah. train on the front straightaway. Yep. So go As Hirsch. Oh, wide. contact! Between Stofi and Hirsch, I believe that might have knocked Stofi's part of his front wing off. I can't get a good look, though. Because we don't give. We don't have good equipment at the racetrack. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Nope. Nope, yeah, he's good. I believe Hirsch might get up to at least second. He's only six seconds back with fresh tires. Will Scotsman let him buy, though, is the question. Or will he have to fight for it? If he has to fight for it, I think there's no chance. Like, look how hard... Like, going is on board, uh, Hirsch is on board. Look how hard he's shifting up. Like, he's fighting hard. 
Yeah, yeah using it. that ARS almost the whole way down that straight, trying to keep Arbus tightly behind it, trying to build that gap now. Arbus so coming from Stosu on the hill. They're the only two tight together right now, fourth and fifth place. Yep. That Adam might be defending well, but. I believe he's gonna get him on the straightaway though, not this one, the next one. Should get him here. He might. The office is wide open. He's letting him. Oh! What was that about, Stoppy? Jesus! Just questionable driving there. He might have had a few. Did you give him some? Before the race? Or no? We, we can't during the race. But we can certainly have a look after. By the way, that we should probably plan this now. Who do you want to interview? I definitely have a few in mind. Obviously the race winner. Yeah, so we, what we tend to do is interview the podium finish. Just... I definitely want to interview Scotsman, because he's in second right <laughs> Like, he went yeah, from dead last. I'd like to keep it, but yeah. He's gonna get at least a top five, it looks like, if he can clear Stofi by a little more. And Hirsch is catching Sc Oh, Scotsman's around! Hard in the wall! Going up the hill. Oh, no. Scotsman, what are you doing? That was interesting how he did DNF. It looks like his wheel cut out or something, like he just went straight left. Did you see it or no? Oh, I did. I caught the end of the. He still joint. has his front wing somehow. <laughs> Not quite sure. Don't often see him go up there in the entire front wing. I think he's gonna finish eighth now. Will he fight Stofi hard though? They both have a lot of penalties. Or not? Yes, yeah, Stofi. Well. Connor's got this one in the bag, it seems like. I don't think Hirsch has enough time to gain that much time. And his ERS is really low. Unless there's a yeah. magical safety car. It's, they're running out of time. Although Hirsch's drive has been impressive. I think Connor obviously has driver of the day by him starting in the rear. But... Yeah. At the moment, Hirsch had the fast lap. He's, he's got a 127.3. A 7 tenths fast than anyone else. No, apart from spinning consistency. So, yeah, 6 tenths faster than anyone else. Do only look at the fastest lap for some reason? It does now, it is. Hirsch, yeah. Hirsch by a whole second almost. Dang, okay. Twins has a pretty fast lap, too. Yeah, just six tenths behind. Sector 2 caution, Still I believe it's seconds. Twins. Yup, he spun. As we say Twins' his name, he spins, ladies and gentlemen. Don't, cru don't crucify me, please. Yeah, curse to the commentator. He's lit up his rear tires. He's... Yeah, he's, uh... We were like complimenting he's take him. Easy. Oh, he's about to spin again. He's Oh, oh he saved it. Lo lovely drift with... Formula drift yeah. on Bahrain. I wish they gave us Bahrain Audi. They never did though. Like I thought they would. Scotsman now fighting with Scotsman three second penalty. Yeah, I don't understand that one. His wheel got caught on the back of our stuff. Oh, someone DNF'd, I think. For Arbon's around. Wing damage? Nope. Got away with one. Yes, very. Now penalties. I have no idea where Scotland's gonna finish now. I doubt he's gonna. I still want to interview him because of his day today. But what about you? I think it'd be interesting to get the perspective from uh, from Hirsch. Uh, he gave a second. Damn right. Mm. So uh, we're doing the podium, and who else? Um, usually it's podium driver of the day, but 
Connor's driving your day, probably. He's got 14 yeah, um, yeah. positions. <laughs> yeah, so I think I, I might. Uh, I think it's probably a good idea. I'll let you take your pick on. If you want to interview someone else. Um, I don't know. Of course, it's a very interesting race. You know, it's Scott's just between... been taking a bumpy path across turn one, eh? I think Scott's going to be too pissed off, so we'll do Arbon. Maybe. Yeah. Well, to be fair, he's got this. He always sounds like he's pissed off. So. Well, I mean, he's really had a really weird race. So, like. Give him, yeah, like, time to cool down. Uh, there we go. Fish sticks in the chat. That's your, that's your penalty. So, as things stand. Top two will stay the same. And also the top three because Scotsman's got a 13 second, remember? I think Arbon jumps into third. Does he? He's 15 seconds back, so that's fu- Really? Let me look at intervals. It's Arbon currently. Arbon has a ch- Oh, Scotsman's around again in the same Scotsman's spot. Scotsman's around! Scotsman, what are you doing? God damn, how much damage does he have? His rear of the car must be gone. He backed it into the wall pretty hard. Yeah. He might he might have four damage from from the mountaineering you don't turn on earlier. Yeah. Oh my god, it's turning to Canada. Like everybody has a penalty of some kind almost, except the top two and shoddy. Arbon oh, just got a three second. second there. Could be crucial. Oh, someone's around, I think. Arbon's gone off. He's gone. He's off. gone. He's three. gone. He's out. Two, three, yeah. I, did he spit off the curve or did he get turned? I think he spun off the curb. And he has such a good day, too. What a shame. Hirsch, a little under four seconds back. There's a caution, yes, I think it's for Shoddy, but I think, no, it would be for Twins. The twins get lapped? Shot. Twins got lapped, I think, actually. Or is it bad to? Yeah, it looks like he has been lapped down to... Is he the first job to get lapped third. this year? Oh, he's around. Oh, he's in got the worst spot. He backed it into the wall, I think. I'm not sure. Did he? No, he didn't. I don't think. Yeah, kept it out of the wall. Rejoining safely. Twins has to pass Arbon still. So does he have enough time to pass him and get his lap back from Arbon? Yeah, he does. Yeah, I should think. Connor almost just spun. That'd be fun. Yeah, Connor's gone. It is truly gone. Look how much time he lost the last spin. Yeah, everyone seems to have. Three seconds out of the time. Hurt, just keep him honest to get about 2.5 seconds. Yeah, well, we have Hurt. nine drivers tonight that might finish. Scottman just lost a place to Alti, and Scottman looks like he's going to stay in seventh because Fardo is a whole track length back. When we thought Scotsman had hope, it just didn't work. Yeah, of course he always had that 10 seconds looming over him. Yeah, I, that was actually a, a better race than I thought it would be. His bar range usually single and we always. So, in the last lap, around the last corner comes Connor, but 96. To take the win in the open round Fair Play Racing League. Yeah. F1 2021 Season 1. From the back, from crashing out in Q1. Hirsch takes second. Looks like Aris Coffee will keep hold of third place. Shot jumps up a pace in front of Whiff, who had that unserved penalty. Sixth place is Dean. 
seven place. Fardo's in Scotland bringing it home. So he's lucky he got that car back to the finish line, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Not quite sure how he managed it. Coming home in eighth is Fardo, who's doing his very best to not go over the line as he spins <laughs> after he's gone through. And that's all she wrote. It was a very depressing race. Of course Connor got, because he got 14 places gained. Yeah, okay. a great, great race there from Connor. Do you have these guys added as friends or no? Because if not, I'll invite them. Uh, there's, there's a little trick we can do at this screen. Resemble played. And go on here. Invite. <laughs> Invite to party, invite to party, and let's get Stuffy in here. Apologies if you can hear the banging, my dog is banging on my door. Your dog just give me some, give me some <laughs> attention. Pretty much. I texted the, Connor uh, if you want to do an interview. Who else got on the podium? Stuffy? Did you text him? Or... Stuffy and Hirsch. I've invited them to the party. We'll see if they join. Is in comes Connor. Let's start with him. He's the race winner. We'll just give it a couple more seconds for Iris, Tuffy and Hirsch. If they want to join. That's, that's Hirsch. Are we going to get Iris, Tuffy? Alright, oh, yeah. okay, yep, fair enough. I'm not looking at the yeah. thingy. Right, um. Oh my god, the tire sets. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there's... <laughs> there's like some people use like four or five sets of tires. God it damn. was definitely an eventful one. Um, so, Fry Guy, do you want to take. Do you want to take Hirsch and I'll take Connor? Sure. Yep, okay. Uh, so we'll start. We will. <sighs> Jeez, my English has failed again. Right? Do you want to? <laughs> do you want to go, go? Go go for it, Fry Guy. Okay, Hirsch. Uh, how was it out there? Like, how did you feel through the race? Um, the race was very hard. Oh, would you include um, your audio? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry about that. Go ahead. Yeah, it starting from. Well, first of all, getting out of uh, get, getting kicked out of qualifying two was uh, very bad. I misjudged yeah. the times, um, but overall, the race started from eleventh. I lost two places, but uh, managed to keep the pace in the car, keep the tires in good shape, and then uh, just save the car, save the car, and then pit stops. Just managed to um, go as fast as I can, catching up on a Todd in the last few laps, but. Nothing I could do to catch him up, but you know, good, good overall race. Yeah. One more question though: uh, If you would have pitted with him on the safety car, the same lap, do you think uh, mm -hmm. you would have won? Or... Uh, maybe, but then I realised for some reason I got a five-second time penalty for not for crashing into someone, but on my screen I didn't hit anyone, which is a bit strange. Okay. But uh, maybe if I. If I pitted on the same lap as Connor Todd, I could have won the race. Alright, well that's all I got. Really good race by you to get second. After, you went to 7th, I think? Uh, I went to 10th, last last place. Yeah, on the restart? Yeah. yeah, last place. Very good by you. Well, congratulations on the podium, and uh, whenever you want, you can leave. Right, thank you. Welcome. Your turn, David. Make sure you buy yeah. your dictionary this time. <laughs> thank you very much. Um, and for the reminder, I keep my dictionary in my back pocket. So, Connor, race win today. It was a, it was a, it was a great race from your perspective. But let's 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 talk about the start, shall we? Qualifying. Uh, it didn't go so well for you there. Um. Yeah. Uh, that, uh, I don't know. That was that was planned. No. I'm doing yeah, a Mazepin. Uh, lo lost the I'm first doing a challenge. 
but uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm not sure what happened. I just like took too much curb and uh, lost the back end. I tried to stop it, but uh, yeah, yeah, didn't want to stop in time. So it is what it is. I had an hour to do whatever I wanted, so I just chilled for an hour. Yeah, fair enough. Um, so quite a few safety cars today. Um, mm. I think we were all sort of looking towards the last one there. Um, I think you put on the you put on the softs, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. About Twenty. Was, yeah. Did, did were you uh, were you certain of the the tires going the the rest of the way? No, no. I guess though, right? So I thought. Um... Like, the strategy was telling me seven at the beginning of the race. It was like a seven laps is definite. Um, so I thought, you know what, like, probably push it to, like, you could probably push it to nine laps. Uh, but those last few laps, they were pretty much dead. Uh, I think I nearly lost it a couple of times on, on, like, the, on the last couple of laps. Um, so I was just taking it as slow as I could, really. Um, didn't want to bin it. I was only one one and off having a three second penalty as well, so I would have lost it. That would, that would be the, the rest lost. Ooh. Yeah, it would have been nervy times. Because the gap only what? finishing at 1.8 seconds. 1.8, oh my god, man, he was, he was quick those last yeah, few laps. That, I was that. watching the gap come down, I was like, oh my god. Then I was making mistakes because I was watching the gap as well. I was like, oh shit, that's not very good. Yeah, uh, but I think we're all so guilty. In the end. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we're all guilty of doing that at one point or another. Um, but you did, you did manage to. You did manage to pull through at the end of the day. Um, okay. Hirsch does take the fastest lap, but which is mm. him the extra point. But that's uh, yeah, that's 25 points for you, uh, leading the good championship start. after round one. Mm. Good start to the season. Let's, uh, let's hope I keep it up. But who you know? Who knows? There's quite a few quick guys in, in the tier, so and then it's going to be quite close, I think, right to the end. Yeah. Yeah, there was, uh, of course, a lot of uh, bad luck today from oh, yeah. from some. Um, we had a random join that was. Uh, yeah, that was <laughs> yeah he finished one. 40 fun. Well. Well done, yeah. Took him out. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I I was tempted to give him driver of the day for that, but I think I think last the first challenge is probably probably I think fair to give you driver of the day as well, Connor. Haha, <laughs> cheers. Thank you. Right. Okay, so that is it from us at Fair Play Racing League for today. Tune in tomorrow, eight o'clock British summer time. For three o'clock, US Standard East. Thanks, for I <laughs> I was going to ask. You're welcome. <laughs> so, Thanks. but then that'll be for the tier two race. Um, I'll, I'll be in that. So you know you should definitely yeah, watch it. I'll be commenting. I'll be joined by. by. Yeah. So uh, Sparky, who unfortunately left us rather early tonight, will be also in the driving seat for his yes. for his uh, FPRL debut, along with the rest of Tier Two. So who is in the Tier Two actually? I didn't look. Yeah, uh, we've got quite a few no, fast guys in there. Right. So it's all in the Discord. If you like what you see, you wanna maybe pick up a reserve driver seat. Um, you can contact us through the social media, through our Twitter handle, uh, which is Fair Play RL at Fair Play RL, I believe. Monkey Boy's gonna kill me if I got that wrong. So. That's it from me. I've been David Lowface. Been joined here by Frag Eye Clips. Well, thank you very much for joining us, and we will talk to you all too wow. soon. <laughs> <laughs>